the real reason Prince George calls Queen Elizabeth gone gone. When Kate Middleton revealed Prince George's nickname for his great-grandmother, royal family fans went wild for the super sweet pet name. But, unlike Prince William, who called his grandmother Gary as a little boy, gone gone isn't a mispronunciation of granny. In fact, Prince George didn't even make it up. Find out the real reason why Prince George started calling Queen Elizabeth his gone gone, ahead. Prince George's nickname for Queen Elizabeth. In a 2016 interview marking Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday, Kate Middleton revealed some adorable insight into her son's relationship with the longest training monarch. According to the Duchess of Cambridge, the future king calls his great-grandmother gone gone. However, Pop Sugar reports that the name isn't unique to Prince George. In fact, it was his grandfather, Prince Charles that made up the nickname. According to the reports, Gone Gone has become a sort of royal family protocol, as it was what Prince Charles called his great-grandmother and what Prince William and Prince Harry called their great-grandmother. Prince George is simply carrying out the tradition by calling his great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth Gone Gone, too. Just because Prince George didn't make it up doesn't mean it's not the cutest nickname ever. Can't we all start calling Queen Elizabeth gone gone? Queen Elizabeth's relationship with Prince George. The Queen is one busy woman, but she still finds time to see her great-grandchild. In fact, she sounds like the best great-grandmother ever. What is Queen Elizabeth like as a great-grandmother? Find out with insight into her relationship with Prince George, below. She leaves him gifts when he sleeps over at Buckingham Palace. Apparently, Queen Elizabeth and her great-grandchildren have sleepovers. And, when they spend the night, Her Majesty leaves them little gifts. She leaves a little gift for George and Charlotte in their rooms, Kate Middleton once revealed. I think that just goes to show her love for, the children, and for the family. She taught him to clean up after himself. Staying at Gon Gon's house, we mean, palace isn't always fun and games. Queen Elizabeth allegedly taught Prince George how to clean, or, at least pick up his toys. Prince George bows to his great-grandmother. Royal children don't typically start bowing to the Queen until they are a little older. Royal etiquette rules suggest that young princes and princesses begin bowing and curtsying to the Queen around the age of five years old. However, some royal experts believe the young prince started the tradition at an earlier age. Queen Elizabeth and Prince George both love dogs. The queen and her great-grandson likely bond over their love of dogs. At home, Prince George enjoys playing with his family pup, Lupo. However, he's not afraid to pet strangers' dogs, too. Once, while visiting his grandmother, Carol Middleton, Prince George approached a fellow dog owner and asked to pet her dog. Queen Elizabeth likely encourages manners. Manners are a must in the royal family. And, while Prince George allegedly has impeccable manners, the Queen, like many grandmothers, likely encourages her great-grandson to remain poised in public and use his manners.